Ban Trujillo is back now with the story of a local kid makes good and really, ready to really win a good. Title. Yeah. yeah, very exciting. I spent time today with Mitch on Ryan's family. He's a defensive tackle with the Broncos. He's also a, a Colorado kid, uh, born and raised in Eden, Colorado, a small town in Weld County. And he comes from the nicest family, and they have a strong work ethic and a great sense of humor. I'm Mike. I'm Mitch's dad. I'm Kay, Mitch's mom. Nicole, Mitch's sister, and my sister Natalie would be here, but she's in Colorado. Yeah. Pregnant. Michael, Pregnant. Mitch's brother. Marty, Mitch's brother. Mark, Mitch's brother. <laughs> Corey, Mitch's fiance. Meet the Unrhyne family, all decked out in their number 96 jerseys. Happy to be in New York, even happier for their littlest brother. Little as in age, not size. Mitch is 6'3", 305 pounds. We were at a buffet last night and they asked him to leave. <laughs> is that true? No, that's not true. <laughs> What's true is they did have a family dinner last night, their last real time all together. He's very glad we're all here. He's very appreciative that we all took, I mean, it took a lot for all of us to get here. Mitch last night said he'd never thought there would be this many unrides in New York City. <laughs> neither did and neither, neither did we. They're very proud of their little brother and having fun celebrating his success. Watch as one brother interviews the other. How did Mitch get to where he is today? Well, a lot of it is because of me, I would say. <laughs> you know, I, I gave him a lot of bruises, you know, and uh, he's earned every bit of it. And, uh, you know, someday I think he's probably going to pay me back for it. Mom Kay says Mitch was always picked on. She proudly wears her blinged out jersey. So does Mitch's sister. They say the boys played football in the yard every day growing up. It was me and Mitch versus Marty and oldest Mark. And youngest. Oldest and youngest versus the two middle. Yeah. Me and Mitch always won, by the way. <laughs> no, we didn't. Michael would just give Mitch the ball and then block for him. All kidding aside, the Unrines are excited for the Super Bowl and for Mitch. They even brought a sign to hold at the game and, Broncos, like any Broncos. family, are nervous. When all the boys wrestle for state championship, it's just that type of anxiety and nervousness. Nervous, and with all of them decked out in Unrine jerseys, just beaming. It's very emotional for me. I'm kind of probably the most emotional out of all the siblings. And if I really think about it, I get very emotional. We're all very, very proud. We're all big, tough guys. And when you see Mitch run out of the tunnel, it is. It, uh, you know, it does bring a tear to your eyes. And check this out. Mitch's mom brought this so that we could all see it. It's from the uh, cover of the North Herald. It's from Weld County and, of course, with Mitch on the cover. By the way, Corey, his fiance, who you met earlier in the piece, they're getting married this year in June in Colorado Springs. So big, big year for Mitch on Ryan.